All right, so now here's the coordinate map that they provide. They provide this coordinate map with the uh, with the thing. All right, I'm going to try to rotate. See, uh, on the on the, the 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 document online, you can actually rotate it. Let me see. Zoom in. Rotate view. Okay, I'm going to rotate this view counterclockwise. All right. So now we have an upright version. This is the coordinate map. All right, of MC52. This area. Okay, this area that I'm outlining right here. This is Canyon Block 252. All right, you can see that right here. It says it. All right, here it is. MC 252. They even put the lease number right there. OCS G 32306. BP. That's the owner. All right, as per their lease. Now, the wells are within this block. Okay, you see, these are the two proposed wells right next to each other. I'm going to zoom in on those. All right. And you see right here, uh, I think this is well A. Let me check. I don't know if the colors are coming out, but one is in green and one is in, wet, in red. MC52A. Okay. Now, why isn't BP saying you're looking at live footage of MC52 underscore A? Why? Because they want to hide the fact that there's two wells. We have to petition and ask them, what happened to MC252B? Huh? What happened to it? Huh, BP? Huh, Mineral Management Service? Here's the coordinates on your application. The coordinates don't match anything that I've seen on the rovers. Alright? But the coordinates for MC252A, in fact, they match the coordinates precisely of where the rover is sitting right now. Okay? One, two, what was the what was the exact coordinates that the rover had? It was this exactly. One, two, zero, two, eight, zero, three. Let's look at it. I still have it up right now. It's right here, guys. Here's the exact number. Okay? One let me use my camera shaking. One, two, zero, two, seven, nine, eight. Well, 2798 might as well be 2800, all right? You can just round it up. The only difference is that the, uh, first of all, this is the exact coordinates of the rover. It's not the plan coordinates given by BP in the, on the, uh, the thing. All right, now we have, let's go back. Here's the Y coordinates, 1043, uh, 10431617.00, okay? Macondo 20, uh, I'm sorry, Mississippi Canyon 252-A, this is well A. I'm going to beat this into people's heads until they understand it. Let's look at the exact coordinates of the rover right now, sitting on top of the wellhead. For the north coordinates, 10, 431, 621, okay? That is almost the exact number as this. Okay, I'm going to zoom out again. 10, 431, 617. 617 is pretty damn close to 621. Okay? So you could just see, you could see that in fact, the rover is sitting on well A. Now this is all if we are to believe that there is a well A and a well B. But I don't see any reason to believe that there isn't one. Okay? Because all the evidence points to the fact that there were in fact two wells drilled. Now if the first one was well A, then, it's, then everything we're seeing on TV is a lie. Because the second one they drilled must be the one that blew up, correct? Now, if they drilled well B first, okay, and then well A drilled well B first, okay, and then well A exploded, all right, then fine. Then we are looking at the right well, okay? But then I ask you this, BP, and I ask you, Ken Salazar of the Mineral Management Service, what the hell happened to well B? You tell me because it's right here on the map. You see it? It's right here on the damn map. Written by BP. Was it drilled? Did it blow up? Is it a gaping hole? Is it leaking now? Can somebody please tell me what's going on here? Alright? Because I feel like I'm being swindled over here. That's what I feel like. Alright? Look at this. Now, just to prove my, my point here. Alright, look. These are the coordinates. These wells are a couple feet away. Probably a few hundred feet. I believe these are foot coordinates, so they're probably three or four hundred feet away. These wells. Alright? 
Look, you see, now just to show you, we're dealing with a coordinate map for uh, uh, for land survey. This is a land survey map. Uh, how official it is, I really don't know. And in the corner over here, look, you have MC209, MC208, MC253. That's more proof to show you there's no such thing as an MC252 well. There's a well within MC252. That is well A or well B. Now, I believe there are two wells. I'm sorry whoever is getting annoyed at the way I'm talking right now, but in fact, I'm just trying to be supremely redundant so it gets into your head that there should be two wells. Okay? Look, here's an area map. Alright? Now, this is the area. This is MC 252 right here. That's it. That's the, this is the lease for the land. Alright? What does it say? Mississippi Canyon area. Alright? And this is block... MC 252. Either that, or it's just the entire map of, of the other of the. Uh, it's probably also the in, the in, the entire map you see on the left here too. But within that is MC 252. All right. Sheet area, DeSoto Canyon. All right. We got everything just to prove that this is in fact within Louisiana Delta. To any skeptics, I mean, this is right from the PDF from Mineral uh, Mineral Management Services. All field data acquired January 2 through 25, 2009. It says right there. All right. So this is uh, found in January. Ah, you see, look, I told you, this is a survey. What does it say right here? Let's zoom in. I know what I'm talking about here, people. Don't think I'm just some conspiracy theorist nut job retard. All right. Survey vessel. M, M slash V Miss Ginger. Can we please find the records of Miss Ginger, please? Huh? The survey vessel? NADCON version 2.1 utilized for WGS 84-NAD 27 conversions. All right, so this is a conversion, uh, probably of latitude longitude coordinates into the uh, survey coordinates. That's probably that's what I'm assuming it is. This is a survey map of the area, people. All right, you're not going to get more accurate than this. You're not. And right here it shows you there were two wells. BP says. In their own initial plan, we plan to abandon both of these wells. Now, we know from testimony that they abandoned the first well. Now, I'm assuming that the first well was, in fact, well A. Okay? Because, now, you have to remember, this is just a plan. Maybe they drilled well B first. Okay? We don't know. All right? And then, in that case, then we are looking at well A on TV. In that case, we are. But then there's the question... Well, then, if that's the case, then what the hell happened to well B? Can someone tell me that? You're supposed to have 100 days to drill these wells. If you don't believe me, that's also in the plan here. Now, how many days has it been since they started drilling these wells till right now? I mean, till, till when the well blew up. It's been well over 100 days. It's probably been well over 200 days for all. I'm assuming. Well, that's an assumption, so let me, let me double check. Let's rotate clockwise again so we can look at this.